What up? It's your boy T Bird in reaction. About to do that. I got one thing I realized to do, especially since uh, we have a trailer and a pay per view based off this trailer. Uh, came out. This is the official gameplay trailer for the upcoming first video game for the if the the newly highly popular wrestling promotion AEW All Elite Wrestling. This AEW Fight Forever. And following that, I'll do a brief little thoughts on the the previous. This past pay per view, uh, AEW uh, Full Gear. Anyway, without further ado, let's check out the Fight Forever uh, trailer. Let's get it. Alright, Cassidy. Oh boy. Remember the feeling when you could just pick up and play a video game? Mm -hmm. That feeling is back. Are you ready to reignite the magic? AEW Fight Forever has deep career modes. Mm -hmm. You can create your own wrestler like me. Of course. And use all of my signature moves. Battle it out in some of my favorite matches, like Lights Out. Balls count anywhere. And don't forget about the weapons. Mm. <laughs> All the weapons. Now, it's time for you to create your unforgettable moments. AEW Fight Forever, coming soon. Hey, you see they are uh, taking somebody off the cover they originally had on there. But this looks good, though. So, and then crazy, man, but I just make this the third, the third video game feature, feature, Third real game comp based on a company featuring Chris Jericho, and this might be the fourth one for the legendary icon Sting. Cause you know he was featured featured on both on WCW, WWE, TNA, and now AEW. The ball too, and it's of course twice for some of the guys that came with the ELA, um, Brian Danielson and Moxley, and the first time ever for. The likes of the the AEW originals such as Kenny Omega, Adam Page, uh, Britt Baker, uh, TBS Shanna, and the newest AEW champion match with Jake Friedman, MGF. Yep, the post for free deuce be champion. Now thoughts on uh, full gear. It was good. You know what I'm saying I will say that I feel like the um, ending with which um, MGF win the title. It was like way, way too predictable. Like you expected too much to happen, or anything. So I'm guessing the heat and thing about it doesn't help that it was in his hometown. So you couldn't get the awesome, a bitch, uh, upset moment for for being the face fan. I'm saying, even as a face fan, I'm like, ah, uh, here we go. Here because because the, the shenanigans was too obvious, too rough. You get knocked out on all that, then Rio come out like, yep, here we go. It was super predict predictable, but. I see for what for the Hill fans, they got MGF the champion. They won it for a minute though, and everything. So, fortunately, us face fans got to wait for a while till we get our next uh uh top title holder 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 as well too. Um, for both the men and women, because you know the women got Jamie Hader now, and they still got the TBS. So the only thing we got face wise for champion is uh the one only Orange Cassidy freshly squeezed as the All Land champion. And the tag team champions, champions, um, the acclaim because you know everybody loves the acclaim scissor. Now, unfortunately, we can't say anything about the trios because after where Ray, Ray Finn's pull, he might they might have they might label you know, he's reluctant, they might still label him as a heel, wherever or tweener, who knows. And but 
the speaking of Kim Omega, the elite is back. Kim Omega, young boys make their return. Not sure why they were still with piece of shit uh, Don Carlos, but they brought um Brandon and as well as uh Mike Nak Nakazawa with them as well too. Little match, great match between them, them as well too. Um, what was the match we have? It is Mojo's now the both the Ring of Honor Television Championship and the TN the, the AW TNT Champion. So he's a double champion as well as now. Good match right there though. I was kind of hoping Warlow came out on top or anything. Then him and um and Joe had a battle for the belt thing, but didn't happen or anything. Because the reason why I feel like that this was like the biggest competition they finally gave for Warlow for and then all of a sudden and for him to just lose it. That's like that kind of sucked to me and to me. I'm just saying, um, Jay Cargo, the not little thing, it was interesting or anything, just, you know, right now, I can't, I couldn't root for anybody, because unfortunately, neither of them are faces right now, well, we'll, we'll see what goes, happen goes on with Jay, I feel like they're holding on to, they make making Jay's, uh, streak longer, because they're holding out for Chris Atlanta till she get back as well, too, I think it's the way one, because even, because as, because as a lady, it's, it's like to me, I got love for Jay, I cut. Despite her current, despite her current alignment as being a, a heel, but it's like her, uh, her, her uh, whole thing with um, the TBS trying been like a number of fly by night feuds, feuds just to get just to stock up her streak to me and everything. Sting and Darby Allen, whoo, they went off on them um, against uh, they they went they the thing against uh, Jeff Jarrett and. And um, Jay Lethal though, I was kind of hoping somebody, I was kind of hoping somebody helped come out and uh, handle Set Setman Singh, like somebody just as giant as him, like a big show, a man that had that was a big show in his days. by the name of Paul White? But I'd be interested though if, if they continue to and he helps them out or anything. Oh yeah, like I said, I did say the trio match was pretty good, and it was in the way it did. Um. Shout out to Ricky Stark getting his win, win and um, becoming a, and fighting the finals against Ethan Page and everything. I wonder how they're going to go now since we now got a a uh, new champion. We're going to get into that. Oh, what's other match they had right there? The women's champions was pretty good and everything. But Jamie Hayer, now I'm wondering, even though Jamie Hayer's a hill right now, I wonder if they're going to, they're going to, it's going to be some jealousy between her and Britain coming up soon, you know, because she's got the champion, you know, Britain won it for a while. We're going to have a triple waist or in situation between them, who knows, or a uh, triple waist Batista situated with them, who knows. Either way, hopefully Jamie can come face King because she's too over as well too. The uh, fight for the ring. I don't, that was a good match as well too for all four guys. Um, and we'll see what's going on between Sammy and um, Chris going forward, as well as as uh, Brian and uh, uh, Claudio. But I think they're good right, no turn right now. We'll, we'll get to that. I feel like, oh yeah, the one with the uh, oh the pre-show zero, the the one with um Icon Kingston was pretty good. Shout out to Kingston in his uh, uh his rematch or anything. The one with the Nightmare Factory and. And best friends with very evil housing was good. I thought the whole thing with him, they kept saying about that. He kept teasing about that. I thought it was going to be a tilt. He'll turn just knowing it's more of his very evil side. You know, he's always been very good, but he showed a very evil side and he won out. Now folks can stop hating on Dan. I was like, like he's nothing but overhyped. Nope, he showed out as well, too. Along with Orange Cassidy and the rest of the best friends as well, too. Um, I'm just going around so I remember all the matches or right, everything. Let me uh, go to my um, my what's the name and, and um, and this is just going to be a quick review or anything. Um, t -t 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 go back to the wrestling group on part that has that might still have it up. Who knows? Um, oh yeah, shout out to the the Zay Rush on love to Jason David Frank man. R.I.P. to um, Jason David Frank, man, by the way. I'm trying it to, uh, yep. So, oh, yeah, this ain't not, this ain't not the Jacks. Oh, oh, yeah, the, oh, no, Soraya and Britt Breaker. Good, good little return match for Soraya, though. The thing, got the well-deserved win and everything. You know, folks was kind of like, you know, feel, making it feel like it's going to be a double turn because of the promos that both was making and everything, but uh Shreya still came out of the face and Brit as well too. Brit uh still where she at. 
the acclaim versus swerve oh my god i know first of all i know how they'll go in with this with uh bowen supposedly hurt but he's cool now i guess he's like he's just working through like kevin work through his as well too great storytelling with uh swerve trying to hurt take care of both max and and them but keith lee say i'm not what what not with it and walked out on and then after he smacked him he said you know what screw you in your hillish ways i'm out Glad Keith Lee put shows the noble way of not get influenced by 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 swerving his in his uh devilish ways, unlike fortunately Phoenix who got corrupted by his uh partner Pac and and then his brother Kurt saying is okay. I thought you was better than that, Phoenix. But anyway, the acclaim are still tag team champion because Everybody loves the acclaim. And now the main event main event between Moxley and MJF. Good match, everything. Was a little little bit bizarre, but then again, he was in his hometown and Mox was playing playing towards against the uh the crowd as well too while MJ was playing with it. But like I said, it came too predictable when Rent when the next back to back roughs got knocked out and then when Rent came out and anything. And MJ was gonna give him do the rain, but he thought, but we we can make him do it. I thought maybe he's gonna hit him himself or anything, but but even but just it's still predictable that he gave him the brass ring and helped him out or anything. MJF, your new champion, you know, can't root for it because he's a he, that's he's a hill. Well, we'll see, we'll see. I think of course he's a hill, but we'll see what's going on with what happens on Wednesday. He'll find ways to make it hillish, or he might still act a little tweeners. Tweener ish as well too. Who knows? But there's footage outside showing that BBC still rocking, rocking. You know, they're fear, they're a leader, the man who t- who put things together for them. Real Mingle has turned cult. So hopefully it doesn't uh, disband. We don't see the soul disband of uh, the Blackpool Comic Club because. Reason why I do not want them to disband because it's been a while that we have like a dominant. Faction that are faces, man. It's like all that kind of stuff. Always, always take, get, always, always be advantage for the hill fans. And this for once, the face fans finally got a dominant faction like the Blackpool Comic Club. Like we, like it's fun, finally fun to have for a face for the face fans, the face side to have something like that or. Like in the beginning, not like they used to be a hill club. Then come, they come to the face. I mean, we, I'm always walking open arm, but it's like for the first time they. They they gave us to it off the bat, which is lovely though, cause but I hopefully they stay together because them four guys are fucking awesome and everything. Hopefully they stay face for now. And hopefully and I know Mossy's probably gonna be off because he's gonna finally enjoy the well earned vacation he's been doing, but keep getting pushed back because of backstage nonsense. And you gotta get credit to John Mosley for doing what he need to do to, to keep the to keep the company going as well too the, despite all the drama they went through as well he definitely is a good company man as well too and anything i know we miss him in, in the we side but mostly is is doing this thing man for real well other than that that's my thoughts on that's my reaction to the aw fight for our gameplay and my thoughts review and reaction to uh the full gear pay per view. If you like it all, all both like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's your boy T Bear signing off. One love.